Hey, what's up traders to watch this video for, where were we at, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, April 8th. Um, look at the SPY daily. I'm gonna even zoom in a little bit here. Look how narrow the range was today. I thought yesterday's was narrow. Today was even more narrow. Five minute view real quick. Um, a total chop fest too, there's no direction. Um, having said that, still some great stuff in chat. Uh, APDN, let's go to five minute candles. Um, Keith R, I believe, let me double check that. Yeah, Keith R. Just called it over the 10 minute high, right? It was on our gap playlist. So topped out in the opening five minutes at 875. She so also have a three quarter number, which I like. And then put in an inside candle. Keith's uh, just an opening range breakout over 875. And I don't know, seven, eight minutes later, it's all the way up at 996. So $1.21 a share move um, in like seven minutes. I, and those are the kind of stuff, that's the kind of stuff we look for, right? Where you can make some money right away. You can see it closed ugly, doesn't matter. We're day traders and we look for those day trade setups. Um, S-E-E-L, hats off to Ramesh for calling this, um, look like this. And we had a recent high of 575. These are five minute candles. And then it had put in an afternoon high of 565. Ramesh put out the idea over the high of day with catalysts above. So watch what happens when it breaks 565. Boom. Within, again, about seven minutes, it's all the way up near... 620. I think it went to 616. A um, lot of money to be had there if you're a trader, right? That was a great call. Um, OCGN. I uh, gave one of my twos buy zone pullbacks ideas, which, you know, I watched this whole freaking run in OCGN. Look at this. I just couldn't find a way in. Then it finally started to come down. I put it on bounce watch. I said twos buy zone and I actually got, as a matter of fact, hang on a second. I got a, a screenshot. There it is. Um, this is a screenshot of my post in chat, OCGN pullback watch. And then I gave the twos buy zone near the half idea. And that was as it was on its way down. I had a bid. I don't know why that uh, looks like that. I don't know. I'll have to fix that later. Um, anyway, I had a bid at 751 that got filled. I think it went to 48. So, it, you know, for a split second, I was three cents underwater. Um, it went all the way back up to over 820. That was a neat little trade. A whole bunch of people caught that one with me. Um, so that was OCGN. And again, another one where by the end of the day, it rolled over. It doesn't matter. We're day traders. We look for those intraday setups based on the action, right? Um, so there's a few highlights. Oh, HYLN, another, look at this, ugly daily, gap up and reversal. Um, but I called it long over the highs here. These are two minute candles. So topped out at 1184, sold off, called it long over the high of day. When it breaks 1184, look what happens. Um, what about six minutes later? It's up at 12.53 and even went higher after that before rolling over. Um, and that was a great start to my day. That was the first trade I took today. So anyway, there's some highlights from today. What are we watching for tomorrow? Again, we'll be watching for A plus intraday setups on stocks from this list or stocks that we add in the morning as, as gappers. Um, ACY is just insane. You know, I think they declared chapter 11 and it went down to like two bucks and then just ripped and it's put in a couple lower highs. So it's a crazy stock, but as a day trader, I'm going to keep an eye on it, all right? Um, BNSO had a big rip, pulled back, and then at the end of the day, I'll show you five-minute candles here, and ended up kind of closing kind of strong. So maybe some shorts caught in this name. Um, definitely want to watch it tomorrow. I believe it's pretty low flow, too. S-E-E-L, talked about Ramesh's call on this one. Um, kind of trying to break out over this recent high from... Um, mid-March. So definitely worth watching for a follow-through day. Uh, PDSB had a nice run today. Um, I don't love it because it's already been up like five days in a row, but a little bit of extra volume today. We're going to keep an eye on that one. OUST, uh, biggest volume it's ever traded today, 33.78 million shares. Closing well off its highs though, but I do want to keep an eye on that one. MOXC, really big run here from like under three bucks to over seven. Now you got a couple red days in a row. You actually hit the eight day today. Um, potential bounce tomorrow. EYES had the big rip yesterday. Today, kind of a quiet inside day. I'll be looking for a third day play set up on that one. EEIQ is kind of obscure. This is that one that uh, it came public this day and then the next day went nuts. It's really been bleeding lower ever since. I don't, I don't believe it's broken a previous day's high ever since. Today, kind of a narrow range though and also topped out right around the whole number eight. So I, I do have it on bounce watch. There's not, um, it's not a chart I'm in love with, but it is kind of overdue for a bounce. PFMT had a nice run, a couple days lower on declining volume. We'll watch it for that one to turn back up. 
um, UXIN, kind of the same scenario, a big rip, and now you're lower for about three days into the eight day. And lastly, IMMP, which I don't like the chart, but in after hours, it's trading at four bucks. So uh, potential gap and go tomorrow. We'll add other gappers in the pre-market as well. I'm done babbling. We'll see you guys in the chat room in the morning.